Hello everybody, this is Chris DeSario again with one of my videos. Today's topic is Common Misconceptions of Mediumship. I decided on this topic because over the years in talking with fellow mediums, students, clients, and other lay people, that there seemed to be a lot of misunderstanding in terms of the start of one's mediumship, the development of it, and who can be one who's participating in the first place. And so I'm going to just give a quick overview of the various truths behind all the misconceptions that are out there, starting with the fact that you can start with just the intent in developing your mediumship at any age. It's not for the chosen few as seems to be again propagated by mass media and people who again are ignorant of things being otherwise. You do not need to be seeing and hearing spirit at the age of four and you do not need to be one of a billion people in order to be practicing mediumship. Now, the, the little bit of a uh, clause there, or sidebar issue that I could put in is, is that although everybody can access spirit, because we are all part of spirit, that doesn't mean that everybody will. And if they do, how far they will take it is completely up to them so they may take it as far as reading a book on mediumship and trying a couple of practice exercises whatever that means some people may endeavor to take a workshop or a class and leave it at that other people may make it a pastime to take classes or sit in a development circle some may start to work with the public in a very quiet way and some people such as myself may make it their career so we have that part and that exists in many other occupations so and I know that there are some people who have even an issue with calling mediumship an occupation we are in service to spirit but at the same time we do, if we're doing it professionally and if we're doing it as our full-time work, we're generally just as if we were an artist, a sculptor, a musician. While we may first and foremost be doing it because it's something that we love and we're serving the art, we're serving spirit, etc., we're also getting some compensation because the fact of the matter is is that most of us do need some type of compensation in order to essentially exist in this world and when I'm referencing compensation I don't I'm not speaking specifically about the uh, feelings we maintain and we gain in the experiences and all the people we meet and so forth and so on that is very primary and that's part of what draws us into it all into being creative into that level of sharing but it's also an issue of money. So, the thing is, is that not everybody is going to take it again to a certain level. But even if they are interested, it doesn't mean that they can necessarily take it to a certain level they have in their mind. Or if they can, the time frame may be very variable. So to make that a little bit more clear, I'm going to use an example that's not mediumship, and I'm going to go back to art, painting particularly. So anybody can pick up a brush, put out paints, and put it to a canvas. That doesn't mean that on the very first go, everybody is going to do equally. There may be somebody the very first time they go to paint, 
it seems like they are, or rather they are, providing professional work. Astounding. A Mozart of music. There will be other people, <laughs> I could say such as myself, who will have stick figures. And um, what does that mean? It doesn't mean the stick figure person can't, in his way, if we're talking about myself, reach the level of the person who, at the first attempt, again, created such a beautiful piece of work that it seemed like he or she was doing it for many years. I may very well surpass that person over time because some people have this great ability up front but then they don't develop it further they rest on their laurels and if you think about that you probably could think of quite a few people in quite a few industries who have done that and it's a disservice to themselves they could be doing better for themselves as well as others that they are um, either have made themselves responsible for at some level or they work with and um, especially if they're in business for themselves that said not every person who studies mediumship who practices mediumship who receives tutoring in mediumship will be on a stage will be writing books will be doing all these things that quite a number of mediums do, but not all of them, even if they so desire, because it's simply not part of their path per se, and how do you know that? Well, you generally get a feeling for things in that you do, and you take it to a certain point, if the feeling stays as strong or grows stronger, then you run with that. But if it tends to be waning, then chances are you've taken it more or less to the level that is basically good for you, that's helpful for you. Not to say that you can't persist, but you may find that you're not really moving forward in the manner or the rate that you otherwise would have expected based on how you started and where you got to in a short period of time, so forth and so on. We have within ourselves a lot of capacity to learn in a lot of ways. And so, that said, we still don't take each and every avenue to its greatest extent. Someone can be excellent at interior design they can really put a place together for themselves or for someone else but that may never be a career choice for them even though they could do it when they compare or others compare what they've done at a personal level with that which people who call themselves interior designers have done at a professional level and have charged money good money and so the idea that mediumship is restricted to but a few is just a complete farce. Also, the other misconception that's really out there is, is that, again, you can't be taught or tutored. And what's the difference between the two? The teaching element comes down to learning the terms and, and the extreme basics. You're really being taught that. The tutoring comes in more in terms of practice. And practice is not just going over the same one or two exercises. It's also on the tutor to be very variable, creative in what they're bringing forward so that they are continuing to push their students forward in their development because if we continue to do the same things day in and day out 
yes, we will get proficient at them, but then we fall again into that state of resting on our laurels rather than saying, okay, how could we up our game? And another thing that I want to address, um, or actually before I do that, the difference between tutoring and teaching, as I was starting to say, which is the teaching aspect is literally learning of terms, the tutoring again is the practices that you go through and basically all the hands-on. So that's really the difference. And so when people come to me for a private session, I would say majority of it, if not 100% of it, is tutoring. I have an occasion, obviously, had someone who's had next to no experience want to learn something, but usually people come in with a bit of knowledge and that bit of knowledge is correct. So there is a starting point versus a complete tabula rasa going on. So now moving into what I was about to say, which is, is that you may be confronted by a lot of people in the industry who say mediumship is something that you're simply born with or I can't teach you to do what I do and there may be a lot of veracity in the second statement which is the fact that they can't teach you what they do some people are really excellent at what they do for a living or what they even do as a hobby. Teaching is a different skill. And that is just more of a, I would say, a natural capacity. Anything can be learned, but I would say teaching, really good teaching, is simply a natural capacity. And so they may be very honest and very correct in that. Again, I will go back to the category of people also who seem to just be born with a ability that is at a certain standard that a lot of people otherwise have to develop to. And that can be a really good thing in that having that stand, um, that standing essentially that's above and beyond quite a few people the issue though again returns to some people just stay there and they don't develop further the other issue the part that goes back to oh it can't be taught you can't be tutored in it there's a number of people out there that are concerned about you learning their supposed trade secrets and that you would otherwise then not be seeing them anymore in terms of a client and secondly you would be stealing their work that's the honest truth in terms of um, and that's kind of a silly statement the honest truth versus what other type of truth is there but in terms of the motives for a lot of people in not teaching or if they do teach they teach in a very plodding way and they may reserve certain knowledge for themselves and perhaps for a select group versus other people that they may be interacting with in a workshop setting or a private one-on-one -on -one setting or private group setting and the unfortunate thing with that is is that that represents the category of people who lack the trust the trust that's essential in really taking your mediumship further and further and further still because trust is either the greatest gift to help us soar with our mediumship or for others it could be the greatest challenge because we need to work through our own issues in order to 
better and better our trust in spirit as well as in other things I'm sure in those particular people's lives a final topic that I want to touch on related to all this in terms of misconceptions is psychic versus medium there is no such thing as a medium who is not psychic I know people advertise psychic medium psychic medium and it used to not bother me and I heard how it bothered other people but over time it bothers me too because people will say oh I see you're a medium do you do psychic readings though? What needs to be understood by the general public is, is that in order to communicate with spirit, we are working through the psychic senses. So you must be a developed psychic at a certain level first before you could be even tapping into mediumship at a level where you could be working with the public. Now, again, that said, there are some people who just do mediumship because they prefer communication with spirit and for whatever reasons one of which can be that they feel that dealing with people's personal issues is a bit of a petty thing and that spirit communication is more important because this has to do with relationships and uh, basically those in spirit having things very important to address with the, those on this side of things that they weren't able to either in any part or fully while they were still here with us and so there becomes a judgment that's called there and that's fine uh, to each their own then there is um, just the people who find that for whatever reason that uh, communicating, speaking with spirit is just comes more easily. And the fact of the matter is the energy is different. When we communicate with spirit, we're going upwards. When we um, do psychic reading, I'm going towards you and pulling into your energy. So it's a different skill in that sense. And so some people again just have a preference some people like psychic readings because they start there to begin with before you go into mediumship and they may just become comfortable there and they may just have it just as the person I said who only wants to do mediumship as a reason or two why they don't want to do psychic readings conversely the psychic reader that um, is working with the public may not choose to go into mediumship for any host of reasons and it's it ultimately doesn't matter the main point being though is is that any medium is a psychic if they say they're not a psychic that means that they're not confident in doing psychic readings for whatever reason or that they're not actually mediums and with that I hope that my discussion which went a little all over the place is um, adding to the plethora of information that I'm putting out there video by video by video that will better educate at the very least all that are watching or reaffirm ideas that you already have or third or simply uh, jive with what you already know so with that I'm gonna wish you well and I will be posting another video soon thank you and take care